Hey YouTube, thank you for joining us as we go over this beautiful Solaire today. Uh, we are Paradise RV, my name is Nate. We got Mr. Carl behind the camera and you got our new sales lady, Stacy, over here to my left. You're right. Uh, today we got a nice little treat for you. It is uh, 2023 Solaire uh, 208. You got it. Uh, so stick with us and we'll go through it. Thank you for coming back. So the great thing about these flares is the great window in the front. It lets, it lets in a lot of natural lights. Um, it looks classy and it's got great function. So uh, you got the fiberglass front, uh, which is really nice, uh, very sturdy. And then you got the diamond plate rock guard, which is really good. So any of those stones that fly up, it's not denting your camper, it's hitting the rock guard. Um, and then in the front, you got your pretty standard setup. You got your two propane tanks. Uh, you got your Lippert uh, power tongue jack, and then you got your battery tray back here. Uh, right now, we just got one battery, but it can fit up to two very easily. Um, so, more power. Uh, longer lasting off the grid. Over here in classic Solaire style, uh, you got your wet bay, uh, half wet bay, mainly wet bay. Is it a moist bay? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good name for it. Uh, and then you got your six gallon tankless water heater uh, right here. Uh, it has the reset on here, it's the DSI. I like those things, makes it easy to use. Um, also in here you got your battery disconnect. Uh, but yeah, uh, what is it, the Nauta Nautilus? Uh, these are really nice and really popular. It's got pictures on there so you don't have to remember. Helps people like me, especially on certain days like today. We had to redo the intro three times, fourth time we finally got it. Um, so anyway, uh, you got your nice little LED party strip out front, which is cool. All the uh, manufacturers have been putting those on there, uh, which just gives you a little cool accent. Uh, in here, you got your motion sensor uh, cargo light. So you walk by it and uh, it turns on. Walk ahead, by the way. Yeah, right? Uh, thank you. I probably would have hit that. Today, like today, yeah, I would have hit that. But you got plenty of storage in the front. Uh, for all of your camping needs, uh, you can fit grills and camping chairs and uh, your weight distribution and all of that stuff in there. Uh, you got a nice Lippert Solaire uh, awning uh, power button, uh, really easy. You can adjust it too. Um, and then you got these cool little LED strips on the side. I like that they changed it up. Solaire is like the only one that I've seen do the ones on the side. More often than not, you either see it on the roller tube or on the camper itself. Uh, so I like the creativity of that. But moving on, uh, Solaire does a lot of cool outdoor entertainment type stuff too. So here's your mount for your portable TV. You just pop it off, put it in your coach when you're done. You got these cool outdoor speakers that got the LED in it. Um, you can also hook up your cable and satellite out to your TV if you do that. And then here's the plug for it. You, it's uh, GFI protected, so you can plug more than just your TV in here. If you have, if you do outdoor uh, like grilling and stuff like we do, uh, like the flat top, the the little family griddle type thing, plug in there, or, uh, bike pump for the tires, etc. Uh, and then you got your dual axles with the torque flex on here, which is really nice. Uh, Solera also gives you the lion's head warranty, which is really great. Yeah. You can, Zoom in over there, first year, no excuses, two year in the roadside, five year on the radial, and lifetime on the, the rims or the wheels. Um, so it's pretty cool, it's a good little warranty. Uh, Solera gives you tons of like incentives because they're so well built, they stand behind their products. That's wild. Uh, Dorchester Road. Uh, so anyway, moving on. You also got your, uh, your power stabilizers, which is great, push button. Uh, also another Lippert component. Uh, you'll find Lippert in almost everything, uh, especially on the Solaris, they use it. Uh, this one has a nice uh, uh, ladder to the roof so you can get up there for easy maintenance and check your seals and all that stuff. It has the pre-mount for the backup camera, so a couple hundred bucks on Amazon, four screws, three wires, you're done. Um, and then it comes with your spare tire. It does have, uh, a uh, hitch receiver so you can put a bike rack on here. Uh, I like that. Slayers typically do that, I think on almost all the ones that we get. 
And then you have your uh, propane quick connect for outdoor grilling as well too. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool, easy to use outdoor features. Uh, you got your outdoor light. Uh, this is a plug for uh, your suitcase solar panels, which is really great. So if you do a lot of off the grid type stuff, uh, you can just get some suitcase solar panels, max out your batteries and you can live off the grid for a little while. Uh, that's just your power for your 50 amp. Um, another nice thing that Slayer does is they make everything 50 amp. So if you want to add more bells and whistles, it's really easy to do. You don't have to rewire a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see, they got the uh, in floor slide. Uh, I like that. It's sturdier. Uh, they have less problems um, and they're just better. You're not going to get like uh, gaps in your slide and it's not going to really tilt much at all. Um, so it's just a, it's a better slide, it's sturdier. Uh, so anybody who's, you know, on the fence about slides, this thing's awesome. Uh, you're gonna, you're not gonna have problems with it. So come on in, I'll show you some of the cool features. Right here to your left, my right, uh, you got your convenience center, which is just your, uh, your monitor panel really, but you can turn on awning lights, living room lights, your slide control, well this is your awning, awning control and slide control, and then this is like your battery monitor, refresh, all that good stuff. Um, you got tons of storage, you got a nice little pantry type thing for your spices, or actually it could be a coat rack too. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of convenient. Um, then you got this great uh, residential style 12 volt refrigerator. Love that they moved to all of this and pretty much this is all you're going to see from here on out uh, by and large. Don't, the they, don't those cool down faster too? Oh yeah. 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 You can get this thing cold. We've only had it hooked up for like 10 minutes and it's already like cold, uh, which is really great. And you can hear it working too. Um, the propane style ones, uh, I saw the convenience of what they were trying to do with it, but it takes forever and they're expensive to fix and they're expensive to replace. This is uh, cheaper, easier, and faster. It's it's way better. So I'm glad that the industry is moving to this. Um, over here, well, I'll show you the whole layout of this thing because it's really cool. Uh, you got plenty of space. It's a perfect couples coach. Uh, you got theater seating, you got a good queen size bed, you got the front skylight, uh, you got USB chargers up there for your phone and all that good stuff. You got wardrobes on either side, um, extra storage underneath here, and then it also does have a table oh, that, nice. yeah, that you can use for the theater seating. So if you're like, where are we going to eat? Right there, uh, with, with, with the table. You like my little voice? That was good. Yeah. That was good. Uh, uh, behind you, there's even more storage with a little mini wardrobe or what I call probably the envelope drawer. Put your mail in here, but if you're camping, you're probably not getting mail, but that's what it looks like. Uh, and you got uh, this cool uh, fireplace. So it can either just be, uh, give you some decorative flames or it'll actually work as a heat pump as well too. So it'll help supplement your propane furnace. So you're not like going through gallons of propane if you're like fall or winter camping. Um, which is really nice. I do like that feature. And you got solid surface countertops through the kitchen. Uh, you got a nice microwave, you got a three burner stove and your oven. Uh, I always like the blue lights. And then, you know, there's plenty of drawers and storage, farm style sink with the sprayer, convenient. Um, so when you do inevitably have a lot of dishes to do, it makes it easier. Uh, over here, they put in even more storage. You can see there's storage in like every corner, uh, which is really nice. You got your AC control. The GE AC seem to work really well. I think they just started coming out with those uh, during COVID uh, is when I first started seeing them. They could have been making them before, I don't know. But they started becoming popular and in a lot of different manufacturers, travel trailers, motorized, all that stuff at around 2020 or so. Uh, Coleman was hard to get a hold of because of the supply chain issues. GE was like, hey, we make ACs. We got this stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty so, sure that's exactly how that meeting went that's too. That's exactly how I mean, GE just walked in and was like, hey, RV industry, you need ACs? <laughs> we got you. And we're American too. 
No overseas shipment waited. I don't know about that. They probably source a lot of their parts from overseas. <laughs> GE does. Every corporation does. Anyway, back to the tour. You got your porcelain throne. Everybody loves a good porcelain toilet. Uh, they're sturdier, feel more like the ones at your house. They, they don't break as easy. They, they last longer. So that's, that's the allure to those. Um, you got a nice little vanity in here. Uh, you got a little medicine cabinet and some storage below for your towels and things. Uh, you got even more storage up here. Uh, you got your giant, I don't think this is Max Air, but it could be, but it's the size of a Max Air. So that is a great feature to have such a good vent fan right above your porcelain throne. Right? Am I wrong? No, you're not. Uh, you're not wrong. That is a perfect placement. Yep. So, you know, uh, wife makes too many uh, baked beans over the fire. They got you covered. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, this is going downhill really quick. Uh, you got a nice glass enclosure shower. The, it's good to have fun with these videos because we don't get very many views. So it's not like, you know, uh, and then it shows you that camping is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to have good humor. That's the point. It's about making memories. It's about making memories. Did I make that weird? Uh, I like the slide glass enclosures. Um, yeah, you know, they're easy to clean. It feels more luxury. You don't have like the uh, the the regular the thin shower curtain. Yeah. Yeah. And the water gets everywhere if you have the thin shower curtain too. It's like you walk out and you're stepping in like a lake or a pond. It's like, oh, good night, you know. <laughs> and if that's one thing you don't want is a bunch of water on your floor inside your camper, uh, because water will find its way into everything. So you want that water to stay in your shower where it belongs, where everything's plastic and is plumped, you know. So anyway uh you got a little bit of height here uh i'm 5'8 so you know a six foot guy could probably get away with it um shower heads right at my head <laughs> so uh taller guys would have to probably you know put it up there uh, but it's still functional um and it still works and you're camping so you know there's always a little bit of give and take with everything you're out there kind of roughing it and enjoying the experience um, so anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let me step out of the bathroom because we always end these in the bathroom. And we'll end this in a nice area uh, and hopefully bring it back from uh, the weird escapade that went uh, in there. So we are Paradise RV. Uh, my name's Nate. Uh, Stacy ran off for a customer uh, that showed up and you got Mr. Carl behind you on the camera. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, check out all of our inventory at rvparadise.com, text, email, etc. Thank you.